there's only one explanation for how good Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare looks. Magic. It seems obvious once the rated M for mature murdering commences that the folks at Infinity Ward practice the dark arts. Target down! How else could this much modern warfare run at 60 frames per second and look this good? It couldn't. It has to be black magic. It has to be. Infinity Wars unholy creation allows players to gain experience and unlock new player classes, weapons, camo, and perks. Perks are the ability to let you give your modern warrior that special twist. Everything from increasing bullet penetration to giving you one last chance to bring down your would-be killer with your sidearm. Players are also able to cast a summons via radio, apparently. Friendly airstrike on the way! And conjure up air support. And, as if we needed more evidence that this game was created by magicians, level up high enough and you'll unlock Prestige Mode. No, this mode does not start Christian Bale or Hugh Jackman. Rather, it allows you to give up all the goodies you've earned and start over, with an icon that says that you gave up all your goodies and started over. For an icon showing that you gave it all up and started over. For an icon showing that you started over. Ah! The trickery! This demon disc comes with some slight twists on tried and few game types. 16 maps to battle, and more unlockables than Houdini's House of Handcuffs. If Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare wasn't so fun, we would be afraid of it. But it is, so we're not. Get thee behind me, Infinity Ward. Okay, the multiplayer is killer, but what about the other half of the game? The solo campaign of Call of Duty 4 matches up to the online component and then some. Set in the near future, you step into the boots of an SAS soldier and a US Marine as their seemingly disparate tasks converge following the overthrow and execution of a Middle Eastern leader. The story manages to feel global and epic while still being told mostly from the point of view of soldiers on the ground. Despite being set in modern times, Call of Duty 4 retains the rock-solid feel of its predecessors. The controls are very similar to the World War II installments, although the weaponry is far more varied and powerful. A new sprint ability lets you run for cover and traverse dangerous areas more quickly. Call of Duty 3 introduced a fairly clunky way of tossing enemy grenades back, but Call of Duty 4 simplifies this to a single button press, making it an essential tool in combat. Obviously, the graphics are ridiculously great. Environment details and the stunning lighting effects never stop impressing. Whether battling in a sun-baked desert street or skulking through the brush in Chernobyl, this game will drop your jaw multiple times per level. Also returning in grand style are the cinematic set piece events that have helped define the series. The scale of some of the situations you find yourself in is amazing, beginning with the very first level in which you must escape a sinking cargo ship. Intense, sprawling firefights dominate the action, with a new and smarter AI providing a challenge throughout. Enemies will now cover one another effectively, identify dangerous targets and position themselves intelligently depending on what kind of weapon they're using. These guys are no pushovers, especially on higher difficulties. A couple of the battles in Call of Duty 4 may be some of the toughest in shooter history. Breaking up the standard shooting gameplay are a few special missions that change things up a bit. A covert sniping mission sends you sneaking through hostile territory in a ghillie suit. My personal favorite, the AC-130 mission, where you rain death down on hapless enemies from above. Nail those guys. Kaboom. On the downside, there's, well, kind of nothing. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare doesn't revolutionize first-person shooting, but it comes damn close to perfecting it. A five. Out of five. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.